Spoilage of food by bacteria. In our earlier session, we have learned about different uses of bacteria. But bacteria also spoil the food. Now, let us learn different types of spoilage of food by bacteria. Bacteria spoils cooked food, milk, fruits, vegetables, etc. Sometimes, consuming of spoiled food can also lead to serious food poisoning. In case of timed and sealed foods, a special bacterium causes a serious food poisoning, namely botulism. Consumption of such foods should be avoided and should be discarded. In order to avoid such type of food poisoning, necessary steps are need to be followed, such as preservation of food and making it free of disease germs. Preservation of food can be achieved by applying some methods. 1. Boiling or heating at high temperatures. 2. Salting. 3. Dehydration. 4. Irradiation. 5. Pasteurization. Boiling or heating at high temperatures. This process is also called as sterilization. Boiling the water at higher temperature can kill the bacteria, but cannot kill their spores. Higher temperature at 110 degrees Celsius at higher pressure can kill even the spores. This can be achieved in autoclave or in pressure cooker. Usually these methods are employed in industry before packing and sealing food in order to kill the bacteria. Salting. Salting is the traditional and common method used to preserve foods for long periods of time. For example, foods like fish and pickles are commonly preserved through this method. Salting prevents biodegradation of food under normal conditions. Treatment with salt for preservation purposes is called curing. Dehydration. Usually, microorganisms grow in hydration or under moisture conditions. They cannot grow without water. Hence, dehydration or drying cannot grow the microbes in food. Drying is another effective method of preservation. This process is employed for grains, meat, fish and vegetables, etc. Even dried milk powder is also an excellent example of food preservation by dehydration. Irradiation Irradiation is employing of ultraviolet radiation in the process of sterilization of certain foods. In this process, foods themselves don't acquire radiation. This process can also be used to kill mold spores in bakeries. Pasteurization Pasteurization is one of the processes of partial sterilization which is usually applied to milk. In this process, milk is heated to a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and made it cool quickly. This process can kill major quantity of disease causing bacteria. But the drawback of this process is it can't sterilize completely and can only be done partially. Once pasteurized, milk should be kept under cool conditions and thus only multiplication of bacteria can be prevented. Refrigeration most of us know what is refrigeration. Storing the food items of fruits or vegetables under cold temperature is said to be as refrigeration because any bacteria or moles do not grow or do not multiply at or below freezing point of water. Hence, milk, fruits, vegetables in cold storage doesn't get spoiled. Even the frozen fish 
of frozen vegetables stay fresh for a long time. The domestic refrigerator at home cools at 0 to 5 degrees centigrade and for short term storage. The deep freezing cool set minus 20 degree to minus 30 degrees Celsius and for long term storage. Strong concentration and chemicals. Addition of ingredients in stronger concentration or additions of chemicals to the food items can prevent spoilage of food. For example, jams have stronger concentration of sugar. Pickles have stronger concentration of salt. Thus, the increased concentration of the solute ingredient causes plasmolysis and death of any bacteria or molds, fungus. The chemical sodium benzoate is also added to foods which are packed in tins and also in squashes. Thus spoilage of food is prevented.